Hi boys and girls. So for our last big project of the year, I thought it would be fun to do a monkey. We're gonna add some texture to this monkey and some shadowing just to make it a little more fun. But the basic shapes, he might look a little complicated, especially around the fingers and stuff, but we're gonna go slow. And we're gonna do it together so you know exactly how to make these shapes to make it easier for yourselves. All right, let's get started with our fun little monkey. You're gonna need a couple different shades of green and brown for um, the leaves and the body, and then maybe like a tan color for that belly and that mouth. You can use crayon, color pencil, whatever you wanna use. In this case, I'm probably gonna use a mixture of both, so. All right, so for our monkey, when we start, you guys should always, always start in um, pencil. We're going to start by making that round belly. So for the belly, I'm gonna start with a circle. On the bottom half of the picture, I left a little bit of room for the feet, but that's all the room I really needed. Okay, from here, you're gonna make two lines going up. That's gonna be for your neck. Now, what should I do? Let me zoom in a little bit. You're gonna make a half a circle, a very thin one. Think about it tiny piece like a thin piece of a moon and then on top of that you're going to make a larger half circle i made two lines and i'm going to make a larger half circle right there that's for his um mouth area okay i'm going to make the nose which is going to be an oval at the top which is i'm going to leave a little part white just for that reflective area now on top of this you're going to make a full circle. That's the other part of my monkey's head. His eyes are going to be very close together and very big. Coming together, one, and then right on top of it, in the middle. They made his eyes silly in the original picture. I'm just going to give him two dots. Kind of cute. And then he's gonna have round half circle ears, one on each side. So I'm gonna do one there, one there, and then you can make this curve inside of each ear. Kind of cute. All right, moving back to his belly. Inside the circle, we have another oval. And then a dot for his belly button. So that's our monkey so far. The legs. One leg is gonna come out here. So you're gonna put a ton, two dashes with just a squiggly zigzag. The other leg is gonna come down here. So two dashes and a squiggly zigzag. All right, to keep the feet as simple as possible for you guys, I'm just gonna make a curved line, a great big curve like that, kind of a foot shape coming down. And then on the back of his ankle, it kind of comes down with a bump. See how I did that? And I'm gonna make lines, two, three, and then I'm actually gonna come out here and make that fourth part for his, the bottom of his foot and his toe. All right, this side, same idea. I'm gonna make that great big section there, a curve and a bump at the back, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, and then add another section to the bottom there for his foot. That's the simplest way that I can show you guys how to make those feet. If you wanna try it like the original example and make it a little more complicated, that's fine. All right, now, he's got one arm, look at our original picture, hanging off that branch. So this arm, kind of silly, is gonna be really, really high up. Not very realistic, but that's okay. So we made two lines with a zigzag. Next, you're going to make a U shape right there. See how I did that? And I'm gonna make an oval. That's where his thumb is. His fingers are gonna to have to be on the branch, but we have to do the branch first. So I'm gonna make a line there. The rest of the tree branch is gonna come here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a line with a V in it. The V is gonna go to the top of the paper 
and then another line that goes here. Stop where the thumb is. This piece you can kind of just round. Now, leave a little bit of space and you're gonna make one, two, three, four ovals. Those are his fingers holding onto the branch. Now you can go back and finish that line. Doesn't it look like he's grabbing that branch now, like fisting it like that? Pretty cool, right? All right, the other arm is gonna go down to the bottom. We're gonna make a line like that. And then let's keep it simple like we did with the feet. And I'm gonna make a thumb. And then I'm gonna just make this section here. And you're gonna do three lines. One, two, three. Keep it pretty easy for you guys. If you wanna go back in and round each one more like that, you could do that too, which is perfectly fine. Okay. Next, we wanna just add some big leaves. So the leaves are gonna come out. I'm gonna make a point on one side. Now I'm gonna come over here, make a point. I'm gonna make a point again. I'm gonna make a point again and then come to the middle. Make one line going down. Okay, I'm gonna do another leaf like that over here, so pay attention. One line, point. Move over, point. Triangle there, triangle there. Come in the middle and a line. All right, you can make a smaller one coming out of the top if you want. line in the middle. Good, and then let's make some coming from the side and the bottom. Curve, curve. Point, point. Another point, another point, together with a triangle in the middle. Line. Cute, and then, oops, you know what I forgot? The most important part, his curly tail. So his tail's gonna go up and around. It's like a big U. Now I go down and around and curve the end. Good. And then if you want, you could just add another leaf to the space here. Point, curve point, 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 triangle in the middle, line. Anywhere else you wanna make those little leaves is perfectly fine. Now, um, I didn't use an eraser, but see he's got five toes. If you wanna go back in now, and erase this line that we put in between, that would be good. I can't do it because I did it in marker, but I can go back, maybe I could try to color it with my white color pencil. That kind of covered it up, but you guys can do better as long as you started in pencil. So when I color my monkey, I have a bunch of different shades of brown. I have a dark one and I have a slightly lighter and a really light one. I want to start with the darkest one. Now, follow along with me with all these curves. I'm going to do the dark brown along the side of my monkey's face. And I'm gonna do it over here on this side of his belly. We want it to have this round texture. So notice, I'm going along the curve. I'm gonna do the same thing on the side of his arm. Always this side. If the light is coming from this area, say my son is coming here, the other side of him is gonna have a shadow. And that's something we'll learn about more next year. So I did that. And now the same thing on the tail. This side of the tail is darker. And if you're following along, your results will be really nice. And this side of the tail is darker. Just there in the curve. Legs, same thing. This side of the leg is darker. And then this case, we'll do the bottom of the leg. Okay? Now, I can go back and use my lighter brown and color in the brown areas of my monkey's face. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do the shadow on his neck. So I go back. Make it in there, and I go around. So 
See how it looks like he's shadowed now on just that one side? You color his body with the light brown. His arm, it's gonna stop there because his actual hands are peach. That leg and the tail. Oh, I still have the other arm to do. And then the other arm. So he's got his brown areas. Now, watch when I do the peach. I'm gonna go dark at first, and then we're gonna go later. So on the edge of this ear, I hope you can see that. I made it dark. On the edge of this side of the mouth, I'm making it dark peach. Same thing down here on the edge of his hand. On this part of the hand, it's just darker on this side. Maybe do like the first finger. This side of his leg. And then you could do just like the end of his foot. A little bit darker. The edge of his belly. A little bit darker. See that? And then very lightly, I'm just gonna color in the rest peach. Very lightly, I still want that edge to be dark. If you're not seeing a big difference, what you can do is take an orange and go in there and make that area a little bit darker. See how it really stands out now? Mine's also harder because the video, the light's not coming on as much. See how I did that orange? Just to make it a little brighter. And now I go in and lightly shade the peach on the rest of him. Kind of cool, right? He looks almost like he's round now. He looks like a round ball. If you're having trouble following this, you can just color. It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to show you how to make that round form or shape. I'm gonna do both hands. Go back with this orange here, just a little bit. And do the peach fingers. Now, we wanna add textures on that tree branch. Look how cool my monkey looks right now. He's so cute, I love him. Okay. On the tree branch, to add the texture, I'm gonna make some straight lines going down, and then you're gonna make a swirl. You're gonna make another swirl here. Make the knots in the tree branch. And make some lines for texture. I did that with the dark brown, and now over it, I can color a lighter one. If it's not showing up, you go back over those textured lines later. Looks good for the tree branch. Now the leaves, I'm gonna do two different shades of green. I'm actually gonna make lines using my light green. Whoa, I broke it. Didn't mean to do that, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna make little lines going through. See how I made the lines on the leaf using that light green? So the same thing here, go to the tip Go in the triangle, go in the triangle. Make the lines. I'm gonna do that on all my leaves. With the light green along the middle line too. One more along the middle line. Let me zoom out, sorry about that. Now you can see the whole thing at once. And then I'm gonna take a different green to lightly color around it. We want those lines in the middle to pop. Just very lightly. We still wanna see those dark lines in the middle. That's given our leaf some texture. I can even go over it now. Brighter, since I colored it green. Good, we can still see all those lines in the leaves, right? Those are those veins that we see. Those lines are called the veins of the leaf. And that's what gives them those beautiful patterns. So, 
You can see those lines, right? You should be able to see them. And then we're simply going to do the sky. So to do the sky, I like to use the side of a crayon. A lot of times I peel the crayon just to make it easier for myself. And when I color, I go in one direction and I use the side of that crayon. Oh, I missed one of my leaves. Did you guys see that? Did I miss that one? Whoops. Color lately. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the blue. For this guy, I use the side of the crayon in one direction and I color it nice and lightly, avoiding the areas of the monkey. Good. Awesome, look how cute he is. I'm just gonna do the rest of this guy. And then, look at that, we are all done. Hope you guys had fun making a monkey today. Make sure to go back and look at those shaded areas if you need to get darker on that side of the monkey to make him have a little bit of roundness and dimension. All right, great job today. Bye-bye.